and now, um, so this is kind of a you know, pretty uh, damning situation for these CDC officials because if I understand correctly, Congressman Posey in Florida has a copy of this in a safe and they're trying to call Dr. Thompson as a whistleblower to appear in front of Congress and talk about this fraud deception. That is correct. Dr. Thompson, um, in, during the conversations that we had, I wanted Dr. Thompson to do two things. I wanted him to hire a whistleblower attorney and declare federal whistleblower status so we had the protections that were afforded by that particular status. He did that. He ended up getting one of the top whistleblower attorneys in the country in order to represent himself. The second thing that I wanted him to do was to reach out to Congressman Bill Posey. Bill Posey has been sympathetic regarding the autism vaccine issue since he took office, I believe, in 2012. And so when he took office, when he took over, um, he was a friend of our community, and um, Dr. Thompson then went to him with large bins of information, physically took bins of information to Bill Posey's office, um, uh, set those down, and shared all of the records that he had shared with me up to that point in time. And we're talking about tens of thousands of pages of documents wow. that showed CDC fraud, that showed up CDC inclination that when they found a positive relationship that showed a, relate, uh, a tie between a vaccine or vaccine component and autism, that they would either bury the relationship entirely by throwing it in the trash can, or they would play the relationship and make sure that the final publication had verbiage that said, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to worry about the MMR, there's nothing to worry about the Marisol. So indeed, instead of changing the vaccine schedule to err on the side of safety, they changed the vaccine schedule to err on the side of more profits for the pharmaceutical companies.